and we welcome you to our show, Chemical Inventions! Thank you, thank you. Today we have a special guest, and her name is Stephanie Quillick. Welcome, Stephanie Quillick. Thank you. Tell us about your invention, when you came up with it, and its chemical formula. I invented Kevlar in 1965, and it's written in a chemical formula as polyparaphenylene terephthalamide. Can you tell us how it's synthesized? Kevlar can be synthesized by a low temperature polycondensation reaction of diacids and diamines using amide solvents. What is Kevlar usually used for? Kevlar is usually used for radial tires, heat, flame, cut bullet resistant fabrics, brake and transmission friction parts, sporting goods, automotive belts and hoses, trampolines, and fiber reinforced composite materials for aircraft panels, boat holes, golf club shafts, and lightweight bicycles. Sometimes Kevlar is even used to reinforce storm shelters. What are the dangers involved with this invention of yours? There is no danger, really. It's just a good material to protect and strengthen various matter. What are the effects on people and the environment? Its main effect on people is its protection from heat, flame, bullets, and other harmful elements. There is no direct effect on the environment. Like anything else, it just depends on how you use it. Well, that's great. I didn't know Kevlar was so important to our society and how it has a huge impact in our modern lives in the way of protection. When we get back to our show, we will cover the chemical importance of duct tape. This program was brought to you by the efforts of Allison Von Deist, Chrissy Warren, and Kenny Tyner in association with the Bohr Chemical Corporations.